the blade races. Do 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 do. The blade races. It was on the 9th of June. Eighteen hundred sixty-two when I saw it. So maybe finding cans at 11 o'clock on a random Wednesday isn't as easy in Melbourne as what it might be in England where you've pretty much got tramps drinking them on the streets, queuing up to get them from the off-licence. It's proven quite difficult. Uh, haven't really seen any shops that sell any at all. And I'll probably just get a couple of funny looks if I go and buy some anyway. Must be different laws in Australia on booze. I've just been in 7-Eleven. That's like one of my favourite, favourite ever shops. I've been to America loads. It's got everything. Pizzas. It's open 24 hours, 7-Eleven is class, and Australia's got them everywhere. And in America, you can get about 30 types of booze in a 7-Eleven, and these, theirs don't even have it at all. So I'm really struggling with the different laws. Um, so this might be a dry boat, which I don't really like the thought of, to be totally honest with you. <laughs> it's much there, I want to get on the can. Where there's a will, there's a way. Supermarket located. BM located. <laughs> Tell you what, this is somewhere to start a match there. Look at this. People ask why, why, why come? Why did you come all the way to Australia to watch the Newcastle? Just to see Cody and watch the football. <laughs> Look at this. We've got all the stadiums behind us. Going down the river. Who needs the Brentford boats on the last game of the season? We've got some beers. The Blade Racers is playing, and every single Australian going for a run down this river is looking at us like we've got two heads. This is absolutely class. And you can come to Melbourne. <laughs> This is one of the best things we've ever done. We're going to get off here, then go to the supporters' bars, then go to the match. What a day in Australia. Eddie Howe's mags are taking over. Oh, it promises to be a good one. It hasn't been a bad start. All aboard, Captain. How are you finding the, uh, the duties of leading us to, to the shore, Cold Dog? Ah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> this is going so fast, it's unreal. Should we be a bit worried about the drink driving situation or...? <laughs> He's only had one bottle, you'd think he'd had ten. Right, we just did a taxi over to the foot. We just had a nice little bit of lunch, haven't we, called out? Just nice, nice, nice. Nice little bit of lunch after that lovely boat ride with a bit of Blade and Racers play. What a start of the day. The sun is shining. Newcastle shirts are popping up everywhere. So we've just left Cody uh, and his son because we've just been outside the hotel where the players are staying. And because the players never come to this part of the world, there's a lot of Australian fans who are waiting to try and get some signatures and see the players. I totally get it. So they're going to meet us at the bar. Me and Colin are going to go over and soak up a bit of atmosphere. Hopefully get my flag pinned up, get amongst it. Uh, so we're just heading over there now. Great start of the day so far. My thoughts are changing about you, Colin. I'm thinking like I it's thought. I thought friendly. I think it's it is, but I feel like once the match starts, we, we've seen the flag displays in the stadium. I think there will be a bit of spiciness feeling once it starts. Country, I think, but we also have to realise that this is just a spectacle for the Australian fans, and I understand. Oh that. yeah, I mean, of course. We've come down not just for this. We've come down to visit Cody and his family. But it's it's brilliant to be here. But I'm not. There's no prediction for me on this one, Matthew. I just. Um, well, you're not giving us a prediction. No, I'm, I, no I don't think it's pointless. I, I win, lose, or draw. We've come down here to support it. So. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Then I didn't even ask him for his prediction, but I'm not going to ask him later because Colin's being. Uh, I'm not. I'm just being realistic. He's been a realistic, moody, moody, oh, moody. Do you know why this is? Because Colin's had a couple of beers, but then he's had a meal. And we all know what happens oh, when you have a meal. I've had one beer and I had a burger. How's that? A meal and a two He's going to be asleep by five o'clock. Yes. Trust yes. me. There's the MCG. MCG? MCG? Oh, yeah. oh you can't First see pub stop, the precinct. Apparently the taxi driver's just told us he's dropped off a lot of tune fans. Honestly, the amount of work it's taken Colin to put my bloody flag up. Yeah, 
Are we, Colin? I need to go for a poo so you can wipe me bum loop soon. Right, I'm jo- we in the bar, we on the pints. I'm joined by Jamie and Jess, and I've got a lovely little host in the middle there with the microphone. <laughs> so, beautiful Colin. Don't, don't chew on that microphone, please. He's had a couple of drinks, he's getting a bit rowdy. Right, I'll start I'll start with you, Jamie. Right, so where are you originally from? Uh, Washington. Shit all. Hey, come on, mate. And how, how come you're over here? <laughs> how come you're over here now? Uh, I went over to work on a holiday visa for a year, then met the missus, got married, so I've been here six years now. And the rest, as they say, is history. That's correct. And you yeah. used to have a season ticket, you were saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it up to come here pretty much, yeah. Amazing, amazing. You and a season ticket order for the wife? No, nah, not for the wife, just oh, to come yeah, travelling, okay. but yeah, right, Mike Ashton was in charge, so... Yeah. And over to you, Jess, so you, you've been sucked in? Yes. And am I right in thinking you've never heard of Newcastle before you met Jamie? No, not, not Newcastle. And now it's, it's your life? Yes. Every Literally. single match day? Right for white. <laughs> and you've, you've, you've been to a game at St James' Park yeah, before, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, we did the tour, went to a game, it was the best. Wonderful, see, you just, you're an adopted black and white then, basically, aren't you? Yeah. And tonight's match, obviously, people back home saying it's pointless, it's revenue, it means a lot more than that, doesn't it? Oh, I think it does for everyone here, yeah, it's great, yeah. Like, well, I went, we went 18 months ago, Leeds at home, and I got emotional when I seen it. So, yeah, I think a lot of people here will be the same. They'll be great. And the match itself, are you expecting slow a little bit, or are you expecting a faster I'm not, game? I'm not expecting a great deal, but I just think seeing all the Geordies together will be great. Yeah. It'll be good, everyone yeah. support. And just to clarify what this match might mean to anyone watching it home, it means a great deal. It means a great deal. Right, we have to get, whilst we're on, score predictions. 3-3. Three, three. Everyone's seeing high scoring. Yeah. And yourself, Jess, score predictions? 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. Strangely enough, though, I went to the MCG yesterday for the tour and actually says on the scoreboard, 3-3. Three, three. Really? Seriously. There you go, you've heard it here first. That Colin, Colin's got a sneaky... No, I haven't. I, I, see, you, you've just turned the camera on, right? <laughs> and if you look around, this means so much to everybody who's from Australia. It does. It's really done the job of bringing these people together, which I think is the important thing of this. And I know we, some of us have travelled along there, but these guys have still internally travelled two, four, eight, ten yep. hours yep. to come to watch this game. Yep. That has to tell anybody who's watching this that Newcastle United is going completely global and it's already global for these guys. And us meeting these sorts of people is exactly why we come on these trips. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Right, thank you very much. Yeah. Two more fine gentlemen from this neck of the woods. We've just been talking about kangaroos for the last 10 minutes. No football talk. Right, gentlemen, we're here in the bar. The drinks are flown. Firstly, tell me your Newcastle story. Tell me your Newcastle. Why Newcastle? Because when I was a young fella, Jenny Kirkham was the greatest footballer I'd ever seen. And I've been supporting the dude since the 80s, mate. Okay. Before all these blokes were even born. Who's, who's your favourite player of all time, then? I'm curious. Well... Kevin Keegan. Hey. Closely followed by Shearer. Very closely followed. Yes. And yourself, Andrew, why Newcastle? Is that, and tell us a bit of a weird accent there. Oh, I've not seen yet. I'm from Washington. I know. There's a lot of Washington people in here. Oh, I'm not doing too bad, but yeah. So, come to Australia to live the dream, I guess. Ended up being are, all these. Are, are you living the dream? Nah, not really. Nah. <laughs> Of course I'm living the dream by, it's the best dream ever. <laughs> but now we, we just enjoy just living living a life. Watching Newcastle at 3 a.m. in the morning. That's that's not living the dream, is it? Watching the no. watching the team that time the ones not living the dream. Hey, yeah. When I watched Newcastle beat PSG at 3 o'clock in the morning, it was not a bad game. Hey, I could not have celebrated more in that week. It was unbelievable. Well, yeah, it's pretty good. Glad it's good and back over to yourself, sir. You just keep throwing that microphone. With regards to tonight's match, lots of people back home are saying 
it's, it's a badly timed game, it's pointless for you guys, everybody here, it's not, is it? It means a lot to be watching to be here tonight. Oh, look, for me, I've never, I've never seen the team play for me. It's a cheese of a lifetime, mate. And this, this, this is a I huge mean, week for you. Mate, for me, it's, it's a dream come true. Absolutely. And to come into a pub like this and see all the boys here, a lot of Aussie Tune supporters, but, mate, heaps of boys from, from Tyneside as well, mate. Yeah, and yeah. All in full songs in there, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's a great fucking oh, night. Brilliant. A great night. And, and yeah. score predictions for tonight, what are you saying? Oh, 6 mil. 6 mil, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I was just going to come over to you. What's your score? Right, we're going four nil, bro. Four nil. What? What sort of team do you think you'll play? We're going 50-50, uh, mix of youth and a little bit of experience. Do, do you care? Nah, not really. I'll see Bruno I, once. Well, last time I seen Bruno, he's going to smash it again, bro. I've got two goals, Bruno. And again, I'm going to go back to what I asked earlier. Both of us come in for this one. Hi, I'm, I'm there. If you had a message for any fans back in England who think these matches are just totally pointless, as an Australian with Newcastle coming to you, what would you say to that? I'd say, pull your heads in. Mate, this, this is great for the, yeah. it's great for the two in Australia, mate. Yeah. Wonderful, hey. wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Well, hey, all us Australian people, you got to see the team that we love, mate. Yeah. You know, absolutely wonderful, mate. And yourself, yeah. sir? we got to expand. Yeah, okay. we got to expand our fan base. You guys, you guys have all, always existed. No. You've always yeah. existed. I've been here six years. You know, our Newcastle fan base has only gone and got stronger. Yeah, yeah. The next six years, we're going to be bigger than City. <laughs> we need book, and we do. I think you can't get out of here. I'm going to get a two shirt, mate. I'm going to send away to England for it. Plenty of Liverpool stuff like that. That's because of Craig Johnson. But they need the merchandise more too. Mate, they will sell the merchandise. Have a look at the pub. It's not the only pub. Have a look at it. It's, it's just mate. getting busy. I think you're missing Ever a since I, fl- since I flew in here this morning, I come from the territory. Since I flew in here this morning, I think all, I've seen is black and, all I've seen is black and white, mate. Yeah. I, appreciate, I don't want you to miss the photo. I don't want you to miss a very familiar accent, actually. But he's lived for quite a long time. Lee, tell me your story. Well, I was born in 1993, and I moved here 16 years ago, so I'm 30 now. And um, I, I fucking love being Johnny, but I love living in Australia as well. Like, why did you move over here? I moved here because my mum and dad. Um, my, my mum and dad's from Gateshead, um, so I moved here with them. And you said you get home now and again? Yeah, I get home, so I went home for the cup final. I, I love being from Newcastle, I love being in Geordie. Yeah, because a lot of people have said to me, you don't miss the UK, you said you do. I miss the UK all the time. But I, why would you tell someone to move to Australia? Just for the lifestyle. Lifestyle. Yeah, the lifestyle. The weather. The weather as well. You're, uh, you're a much more healthy crew than I am. I, <laughs> Very healthy I try to, I try to. <laughs> and you've got a tattoo, you've got to show us your tattoo. I'll show you have a tattoo. Come on, come on, show us your tattoo. Oh. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. I'm not putting any money in your pants, man. That's, love it, love it. And last, last, day, uh, last, <laughs> last question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the score going to be tonight? It's going to be 2 1 Newcastle. 2 1. I, Isaac and Bruno. Oh. Yeah. All, all the big guns going to play? Aye, aye. 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 aye, aye. And I expect a good atmosphere? Aye, it's going to be class. It's going to be class full of Geordies. It's going to be mint. Happy days. Thank you very much. Oggy, 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 oi, oi, oi. Right, we've just come out of the pub, we walk to the stadium now. There's lots of different shirts dotted about, which is kind of like America to be fair, because I got annoyed about Liverpool fan being in the, it being in the pub originally, and then I thought, you know, there's not many Premier League teams ever come to Australia, so people are obviously showcasing who they support. We've had a fair few beverages, I've got the 
I've got the cold dog on the Jager bombs. How are you feeling, I'm, cold dog? I've, I've woke up oh, now with the Jager bomb, to be fair. <laughs> don't think you can see us, can you? Hold on, hold we're on. Hold on. We're in the dark. We're all lit up. Oh, now. there you go. There <laughs> you go. <laughs> tell you what, you can tell this is a very uh, roughly made ah, video. That's what they call amateur shite. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> very, very Do much so. Do we care? Do we have? <laughs> We've got some great people though. Cody JT, predictions now we get a little bit closer. You can keep the light, keep the light, there we go. 4-3. Uh, 4-3, four, three. Four, three. what about you JT? I'm going 5-1. Five, 5-1, one. Five, one. ooh, some, <laughs> that's some, I tell you what, we've got a history of doing that recently, haven't we? Well, Spurs are easy enough to beat for us, aren't they? Yeah, well, we walk, and now this is the exciting bit for me, walking to what is an absolutely ginormous stadium. You told us today, 100,000 and... 24. 100,024 is the Welcome capacity the of this. Here. It was fantastic. I'm not paying him for holding this light above me, head, by the way. Here you are. <laughs> you bought the 16 Jagerbombs. And JT sticking the Eddie House mags, stickers on the lamppost there. Fantastic. Things you, you, things you love to you see. Have you just grassed him up? To who? I, I, don't, I don't think the Australian police watch my YouTube videos. Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, there'll be some copper somewhere. <laughs> you absolute grass. Right, we're going to get ourselves inside. Eddie House Mags taking over the MCG. Come on! He's had a Jager bomb, sorry. Wow. Always video the, the ticket scan games by tradition. Even when I'm in a random country like Australia. Oh, thank you very much, Cody. The shop is absolutely random. It's absolutely terrible stuff, but it's just money, 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 money. Everyone's trying to make as much money out of this game as possible. It is chock. It's just Newcastle written on a T-shirt for about fifty dollars. This stadium is very, very, very similar to Atlanta in America last year. There's a million bars, there's restaurants, there's coffee shops. It's insane, they just do it differently in these countries. And I, I think England's going this way, but it's just mad. I love it, because it's so different. It's crazy, it's absolutely crazy. What I find really interesting as well is the Tannoy an hour before kickoff has already mentioned that international memberships for Newcastle are available now. So there's a big push, which we know, we know there's a massive push to try and get fans on board to become members for Newcastle and become part of the club and I just found it really interesting that the tannoy in the stadium is already mentioned in that it's really really interesting been a bit of a show before the match there's a lot of talk about like England getting here what do you think about all this the music and all that why in the sense is this gonna happen to us yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the fire and all that sort of stuff no no <laughs> uh, I have no words it's how unusual is that very hey it's a very strong team very strong team hey that's why we've travelled out here hey, it's a very strong team the atmosphere I tell you what this is so much better than America. So, so much better than America. Look, I'll spin you around. There's all the flags. Absolutely. There's a lot of there's a lot of people who've moved over to Australia who support Newcastle and lived in Newcastle for many different reasons. And you can tell the atmosphere is really good. Good team. Good atmosphere. Let's hope it's a good match. He's fallen asleep. It's gone to penalties. Gillespie, who's, who's been on the piss for four years for Newcastle, he's doing the business so far. He saved the first one, we won it up. Come on, let's get the bracket right.
Look at that. Glorious. I'll take the out, lads. As per out. usual. <laughs> Ciao, have give a us, good day. Give us, give us your thoughts on the match there then. Oh, look. As soon as Son got taken off, my multi was fucked. But. You, you, your multi, is that, that mean Naka? Yeah, no, my multi was Son to score. 3 1. Right, he means Naka. He means 1 Naka. Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. Three, three, one, you've got Newcastle, Newcastle, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. After the last game, 4 1, I was like, I think they're going to cook. But, hey, fair, fair thinking. So, have you, have, you, have you been over to England to watch Tottenham play or not? Kind of. I'm from Canada. Oh, right, yeah. Sam, Sam. Down, mate. Right, right. So you have? You have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. So hey. what, what, what was your thoughts on the match tonight in oh. general? Well, tonight, slower. Hey. Heaps slower. Heaps yeah. slower, mate. Yeah. But, but I will say, our defence is probably one of the best I've seen in the latter end of the season. Well, even since we... Even since that's, we that's probably because it was really slow. <laughs> and to be fair, the last time Van der Ven... V Van der Ven got put in his arse yeah. all the time, so... <laughs> he's taking it, he's and taking it. I still it. say that's one of the upper class ends of the season. So, uh, I've got the ends. Come on, Tottenham! Let's get the Aussies in there. Right, you want to get in as well? You're Tottenham fan as well? I'm, I'm, I'm Newcastle. Oh, you're on Newcastle, right? That's good. <laughs> he's... <laughs> I think he's had one too many beers and he's had way one. too many. One too many beers. So you're you Newcastle? Yeah, 100%. Right. And yourself? I'm a Aston Villa fan. So why are you here? Why are you here? It's good to go to, you know. Yeah, to be fair, there's not very often Premier League yeah, teams yeah, come to yeah. you. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. At least you're not chucking your colours about. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to bring the scarf. But he I... was trying to bring his scarf. I wouldn't let him. So what, look. So what do you think of the game then? Uh, one of the slower games, but uh, it was that's good to right. get the win in the end. Yeah. So, what's your Newcastle story? Uh, pretty much just, I was born in England and then moved to Australia and it was just my dad. My dad followed him, so I was just born into it. Right, right. Yeah. And how old are you? 17. So, most of your life then? Yeah, exactly right. Right, so you've never been to St. James's Park, you've never experienced nah. this is your first match? This is my first ever oh, match. Right, I've never wow, really amazing. experienced it. Yeah. Love to hear it, so. That's great. Obviously, the atmosphere in the build-up was good. What was your, because it's your first ever match, what was your overall thoughts? Uh, I loved it to be honest. I, good, good. Yeah, my, my plan for after school is to head over to England and go to more games. I just can't wait after tonight. Good. Hey, if this is giving you more ammunition to want to go, then that's good. That's exactly good. right. Well, that's all. That's all Happy I needed. Days. And we got the win. We got the win. Exactly. It was a good win. win. So you got the match on Friday? Yeah, definitely. I'll be there. Happy days. And there's no trophy, is Chelsea there? Fan. Right, we're gonna we're gonna cut it. It's like the Joey Nine and Newcastle. We're gonna cut this short right now because apparently there's a Chelsea fan joined. So I'm in a Newcastle Tottenham game and I'm stood with a Villa fan, a Chelsea fan, and a Newcastle fan. You're right. New so this is just what it's like in these different countries. We've got all sorts of teams are you from coming. England or are you live here? England, England. Do you live here though? No, no. I've come over for these matches. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's really right. Good. Gentlemen, give us one more line each. You can say whatever you want as long as it's not uh, offensive. Go on then, go on. Okay, one more, go on. Come on, Newcastle! Go on then. Go on, Joey Knight. Villa. In 1982. Oh. Right, I'm going to wrap that one up. Hey, we got the win. All sorts of teams here. Too many teams here. I think the whole Premier League's here, to be totally honest with you. But we got the win. Are we only has my heads? Sorry, I got turfed out there just was up. I was mid sentence. I tell you what, it's a little bit nippy, so I've gone with the quarter zip. Yeah, on to Friday we go. Absolutely class day to day from start to finish. I knew the bars would be good. I didn't I did not in a million years expect the bars to be that busy. Wasn't the best game of football, did we all expect that? Yes. But this means so much more. Yes, is it a money making uh, scheme for the club? Of course it is. Of course it is. Eddie Howe trip, yeah, didn't agree with how they came out and said that they weren't looking forward. It wasn't ideal. Just keep your mouth shut. There's Australians looking forward to this. Another game, I don't expect that to be any better. Eddie Howe will probably... I don't think he'll go full strength like he did tonight. And we just get over the line, you know, and then the season is done and we can all take a breath and we can finally, like myself, relax and take in what has been the most weird, exhausting, up-and-down season. But as for tonight, as I stand outside this lovely cricket ground, and I hate cricket, by the way, Eddie Howe's mags, uh, I've won a game against Tottenham. Again, we've won a penalty shootout. That doesn't happen very often. And I'm going to go and smash a couple more beers. You guys are fans, if you've liked this video, whack that little likey likey do. Whack that subscribe button. Uh, I'll leave a little link in the comments if I can for a coffee. It's not me begging. It's just, you know, 
you want to make a donation, buy us a coffee, buy us a pint, feel free to do so because there will be a hell of a lot more content coming in the next couple of days. Eddie House Mags, might be a friendly game, but it's always nice to see your team win. And we've just done that. Hooray, lads!